legs to the left, between the circles, sets out behind the three-point line, drains the triple that the Cascades have had. Tour again for three. Why not? Two for two for Vic Tour with Friesen over the offseason and said, look, I'm interested in playing for your team. Mark Johnson for three, and he has him back last year, was unable to put pressure on his right hand for three. It's good from Charn Gill. Gill over half court between the legs. He's got Ross and keeps the ball for three again. It's good. Johnson turns the corner out to Brach for three. It's good for Riley Brach. Victor behind the back pass to Mark Johnson for three. It's good, ladies and germs. And Hadzevic turns the corner inside and up off glass. And Hadzevic's first home court points is a cascade. Bounce pass turns around to Hadzevic. Here's Glenn Yang just inside the three-point line, and it's good. 55-52. Victor taking his time with Yang. Crosses him over. Has a long space for the alley. Five, not 17. I'm twice this kid's age. Oh, my Lord. Loses the handle. Dan Adetter and off glass. And Envision says that was a simple application you wrote. And off the glass, twice in a row, Riley Brach, under five to play. A five-point, make it two-point cascade lead, and Coach Friesen needs a time. And the four cascades cascading together can't pick up the board. Here's Hegwood for three, and it's a cascade five. And Dan, your poetry is not as pretty. Sukman Sandu with the putback, 82-78, UFE. We were up eight at one point. Uh, we played some bad defensive stops, and uh, they came down, hit a few threes, but... We just got together, got a good tip in by Sukman on the offensive board. Up by two, made it go up by four, so pretty solid there. That's sort of been a huge theme of ours is that, um, you know, we relax. You know, whether, we, whether we're whether we close in a game and we think, hey, this is pretty good, we're playing a good team and we're close, I'm happy and we relax and suddenly the game gets blown open. Or in this case, we have a lead, you know, of eight points or whatever it was. And you can just see us sort of go, okay, good, yeah, we're going to get that first win. And we start looking at outcomes and the future. And, uh, you know, we, we, we stopped playing. And, uh, yeah, there was with three or four offensive boards that one time. And uh, teams go on some, you know, have been going on some big runs against us this year. And uh, it's, when, it's pretty much when we lose, we lose focus and get sloppy with the ball or, you know, really soft in the defensive end. We're going in, but coach told me they were going to go under. So the whole week we've been working on my shot. Uh, my shot wasn't there in the preseason, but we've been working on a play going under the screen and shooting. And the first few fell down, so my confidence was high. Then they started respecting it, and I started penetrating, looking for open, uh, open shooters on the corner, and my drive was there. So it's a good game overall for our whole team. Offensively, we, you know, we saw some guys you know, start to make some plays and grow in their confidence. And you know, our shooting percentage was, you know, was pretty good. Um, you know, so that was that was that was a huge positive. In the defensive end of the floor is where you know, as a young group, we're, we're going to be. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle throughout the year, but offensively, um, yeah, there was definitely a lot of good takeaways from the game.